It's time for your completely ignorant movie reviews. Movie reviews based only on the movie poster. Only on NGen Radio. He's Drew, I'm Bruce, and we are taking a look at more than a movie poster. This is an event. It's Sharknado, Drew. That's right. Uh, first thing I love about this movie is the fact that the tagline is Enough Said. It's like Sharknado, Enough Said, Done. Done. Although we have more to say. We do have more to say. So starting off, you see the poster here. It's like a tornado just throwing sharks in all directions. And it looks like a lot of them are going to be landing on a carnival, which I'm very glad I'm not attending. Those are the worst kinds of tornadoes and the worst kinds of carnivals. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. But I'll tell you what, Bruce. I, I have a problem with this movie. A very big problem. Uh, yeah, probably what everyone else is complaining about. It's not realistic. No, it's it's completely realistic. That's that's not even a question. Yeah, I mean, you get a, a high-pressure system and a low-pressure system colliding over where there's some sharks gathered for mating, and you're going to get a Sharknado every time, Drew. And see, that that's where my problem lies. It's the name of the Sharknado. Sharks are in the water, therefore technically shouldn't this be a shark cane that is a great point, Drew. And if we want to be scientifically accurate, yes, it would be a shark cane. Unless it was a little less powerful, then it would be a sharkical storm. Well, sure. If it's not strong enough to be a shark cane, a sharkical storm is definitely possible. Yeah. Enough said. Enough said. Sharknado. I give it a three. Steven Spielberg wishes that he had thought of this out of five. Good call. I'm going to give it four. We found Nemo's out of five. Sharknado on completely ignorant movie reviews right here on NGen Radio. Enough said.